we go and welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps and this is Margie. Hope everybody is having a good day. Alright, so I have noticed while well, I've been using my new cell phone camera for videotaping these soaping movies slash videos, whatever, that I, I really can't hear my voice that well, you know, when I'm edit, editing, <laughs> editing the, the video. So according to the volume, it says that it's 100%, but I just have a hard time. And then when I add uh, any type of music, then that just seems to kind of blast it. So if everybody could just kind of give me some, some feedback on whether or not they, you know, you can hear me well, or if my, and then if my music is, is kind of loud, it's just really hard to tell from my end. I have received some feedback saying that people can uh, hear me loud and clear. Where do I put my mold? Ah, I'll just put it over here. Um, so anyway, um, let's get going here. All right, here's my, here's my goggles. So today I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different. And I do want to say that the, the inspiration from from this for this design, there we go. For this design is from a gal in Germany. I cannot think of her name. I was going to go and write down her name before I got started here, but I've I've just been kind of busy watering my my dahlia garden in our backyard. We have not hardly had a drop of rain in a couple of months. So I've just been busy taking care of my little babies out there. All right. But I will, I will in the video um, search for her, search for her. I, I saw her on, on Pinterest and this is where I, I got my idea. So anyway, so uh, let me move this guy over here. Okay, I need to be right there. So I'm going to be using Bramble Berries Lemon Yankee for Verbena type. It's it's very, very nice and strong, and it is a different type of a lemon fragrance than what I am used to. I, you know, um, my all-time favorite, like, a, a, it's the essential oil fragrance oil that I probably, if I had to choose one fragrance oil slash essential, essential oil that I could just not live without. I mean, if I only had to pick one, it'd be the uh, Avo Bath, which from Nurture, uh, Nurture Soap, which they have since needed to rename um, Awaken. And that, I mean, that is just beyond awesome. I mean, it has the lemon verbena, the lemongrass, bergamot, some rose notes. Oh my gosh, yeah. So that's that's my all-time favorite. And this is what it looks like in the in the glass here. Not too dark. Oh, and speaking about Brambleberry, they had a 20% off coupon for shipping. So I was in need of some more of the five gallons of their coconut oil, uh, which comes in a five gallon pink bucket. And I really wanted to get their, their little sample. And so Matt from Brambleberry said, I'm sorry, but we cannot pack, you know, this little sample here in with this big, big bucket. And then I, I told him, I said, you know what? The box is square, the bucket is round stick it down there somehow, you know, put padding in it. I want my sample. <laughs> and so lo and behold, the UPS truck came this morning and here was my cute little sample just sitting on top of the bucket. So I got it. So thank you very much, Matt. I appreciate that. What the design is, hopefully, cross my fingers here, is for the most part, the layers are going to be a mixture, talking about Brambleberry, of their fizzy lemonade colorant, which is I just love. And I think I just might put in just a smidge of this neon yellow pigment from Nurture Soap, just a tiny bit, just to make it go pop. And 
then according to this gals soap i mean yeah i i'll if i can if i can try to take a screenshot of it and and show you it's it's just the most beautiful soap that she made and, and I know mine's not going to look anything near hers, but you know what? I'm going to give it a go because I'm kind of a fun little gal. I like to try different things. So somewhere in between the yellow layers, she just kind of had a couple of waves of the black. And I didn't know, I did, do not know if she used the black oxide pigment from Brambleberry or if she used the activated charcoal. I have not used the activated charcoal for a while, and I know it can thicken up really quick. And I didn't know if it was going to bleed on me, so I'm just going to use the black oxide and see if I can get these guys over here. So I already have a little bit mixed up here in, in just the regular oils right there, just a little bit, nothing extra. And so... So this is going to be interesting. So anyway, I am going to stop talking and then I need to get the air conditioner back on because we're supposed to be having 90 degree weather. So without further ado, let's get open.
Thank you.